Hey YouTube, it's me, Brandon Colonel. The next knife review that I'm going to be doing it is on the Rothko Bodyguard. Now Rothko is not exactly a, that well known in the knife community, but it is. A, this is a very good quality knife, and it, you don't exactly have to pay that much for it. Now the sheath, it's not the best, but it'll be able to handle quite a bit of abuse without really it taking too much heat, and uh, so. It's uh, basically just a um, cloth uh, on top of uh, hard plastic to keep the knife in. So it's probably not going to last forever, but it's uh, but it's not exactly low quality. It is single stitching, but it, again, I've uh, carried it for a while, and uh, this thing hasn't given me any problems at all. Now, it does have uh, four buckles, or not buckles, but um, four studs on the back to help uh, keep this uh, the belt loop in place. And it has uh, another stud right here and to keep the, the strap on, uh, so that way uh, you can uh, lock in the knife. Now, the it works. Uh, the sheath is basically ambidextrous, but the strap really only works when, it, when you've got the knife going in like this. If it, you flip the knife around, the knife will still fit, but the strap doesn't really keep anything in. It more so keeps the knife out, and you. But even then, it doesn't really do that much. Whereas the other way, that's what actually works. Because this way, you can climb upside down, and that's not coming out. So, the sheath that still works both ways, but it's uh, only really used to its fullest if the knife is going in like this. So. As far as the knife goes, it's a little back heavy, but if you just did choke down a little bit, then it feels like you've got the same balance that you're looking for in just about any other kind of knife. It is a full tang, and it, the pommel can actually be used as a, like a smasher of sorts. Because it, is a, um, it is very smooth on the bottom, and is it gives you a, a lot of impact if it, you can go for a, like a full force uh, hit on the bottom of it. Now, the handle is uh, pr it's probably like a soft plastic because it's uh, somewhat like a rubbery feel, but um, but otherwise this is uh, it's a it's a pretty good handle. It has a pretty decent amount of grip to it, and. Uh, there's a lot of texturing. I don't really know if you can see that that well on your end, but there's a lot of texturing uh, on the the handle, which gives you a lot of grip. And it's uh, like I said, just kind of like a soft plastic. The guard is uh, very sturdy; it's not going anywhere. And it um, and the guard right here on the, the thumb side is uh, the the side that would uh, be going on uh, be held in by the strap. So this is a little bit longer, and uh, so it allows you to, to put your thumb right behind it and just really lock your thumb into place, especially if you're going for some kind of a thrust. Say if you're using this as a tactical knife or maybe a, a hunting knife and that you wanted to uh, clean a deer or something like that, then uh, th this allows you to lock your thumb in place so you can go for that thrust. And um, as far as the knife blade, it is a, a drop point blade. And uh, the steel, and the box doesn't tell you what it is, it, and it, I haven't been able to find this even on the uh, Rothko website, so it's not exactly an advertised knife. Now this uh, is um, it's probably going to be uh, maybe 440B, maybe even as high quality as 440C, but that that's about as most as I give it. It's uh, probably not anything more than that. Now. It does have a really good edge retention and edge quality. This would probably hold it for about maybe two weeks as as far as uh, what it is. But it is very sharp. I've got receipt paper here. Now, like I said, it's not the best, but it can cut. And it, it will do it very well. Now, if, it, if you're expecting this thing to hold it for much longer than, than two weeks, I wouldn't suggest putting a, a razor sharp edge on this thing, so that way it can hold it for longer. But this thing could easily tackle just about any cutting task that you would need, even if you need it to be really sharp. So, um, 
This isn't exactly hair popping sharp, but you could baton with this. Uh, you could uh, you could uh, probably do some kind of food prep with it. This is uh, about as sharp as it needs to be, really. But overall impressions of the knife, it's not exactly the type of knife that I would carry out in the town. It's it would not be a good boot knife. Um, this is most most definitely a hunting knife and a last ditch tactical. You would have. You'd be able to maybe put it in your car. I'm actually strapped it to the side of my door with paracord, so it is. It would be a good in a tactical situation, but most likely this, most definitely this is a really a hunting knife. It, like I said, it would work in a tactical situation, but with it being so back heavy, then it, it would be more of a chore to find the the balance point. This is definitely not a thrower. So if you threw it, this being so back heavy, it would definitely throw off the your throw essentially. And so, but otherwise, this is a really good knife, and it, the people who it's for is definitely hunters. But um, so the bodyguard, the the name bodyguard, kind of throws it off. It, it when you hear bodyguard, you think tactical. But this isn't exactly the most tactical knife I've ever seen, just especially being so back heavy. But this is more a hunting knife and somewhat survival knife. Because if if this was all that I had in a survival situation, I would not be disappointed. But so cheap knife, good quality. For for the price, I would buy it again if I, if I was given the opportunity. I would buy it again. But um. But yeah, so if you're looking for an incredibly high quality knife, this is not really what you're going for, but it is a good quality. So that's all I have to say about the Rothko Bodyguard. Go out and get yourself one. You can probably find one on the on the eBay or Amazon. I bought mine at at a place in my town called the the Army Store. But um. Beyond that, you probably won't find in many places because it's just not that high quality. So, and, well, sorry, not that well known. Sorry about that. My bad. But so, now that's all I have to say about it. Now, as always, stay safe.